Good morning everyone. I am welcome you all to this 30th day of CSIR online training. Today we are going to discuss about remaining part of unit 12 applied biology. Before I enter into the session please let me know am I audible? Can you see my slides? Is it visible? Please let me know through chat box. Yeah, thank you, thank you, ma'am, thank you, ma'am. Uh, we will enter into the session. Okay. Uh, this is, yesterday we discussed about some applications of uh, biology, application of the basic biology. Today, uh, it's a, it's a continued continuation of the applied biology. In this, uh, yesterday we discussed the plant biotechnology related concepts. Today, we are going to discuss about the animal cell culture technique. In every animal cell culture techniques, we have the primary cell culture, established cell culture, transform, transformed sub, sub, uh, cell culture. In this, primary cell culture means that cells are directly isolated from the cell organ. That are, uh, In the organ, they are taken cell fragments. Cell fragments means that is the uh, tissues. It's a sequential one. They just uh, scalp the tissues from organ and the they are did enzyme digestion whenever we are uh, whenever we are doing uh, the animal cell culture there is only enzyme digestion is the best method for cell fragmentation means cell uh, cell uh, disruption the in using the enzyme using trypsin and collagenase this trypsin and collagenase helps to get single cells. This single cells are then cultivated in a suitable medium. Then a sequence uh, the, the, uh, that culture. The single cell cultured medium called as the uh, that, cu that culture plate called as the primary cell culture. They having the single cell. After uh, the after the attachment and well growth of single cells in one plate we need to uh, develop we need to separate they are developed right they are div divided into multiple multiple time so there was the accumulation of single cells so we need to separate that uh, into various flask various uh, vessels uh, in that case we are doing the established cell culture after the separation the after the AD subculturing we, we are approximately we can do uh, 60 to 70 60 to 80 times of uh, sub establishment because the cells are having the particular time uh, particular uh, um, establishment uh, some uh, if the fresh organ uh, tissue or cell it can be uh, sub uh, adaptable for 70 to 80 times subculturing uh, and uh, after uh, uh, the more than 80 culturing that cell is altered that nature get altered uh, in uh, for the for the environment vision, the cell nature uh, if you are doing the rap rapid uh, cell uh, ke using chemicals on uh, cells right uh, during this cell culture so cells are getting uh, changed the change is uh, make alteration in the cell division chromosomal number cell occur infinite growth properly okay this uh, the, these are the uh, alterations happen after the 80th subculture this is called as the transform cell culture because that character changed that is so that is called as the transformed cell culture uh, in this another case of uh, our uh, 
the in the in the cell culturing the best thing in the cell culture the must thing in the cell culture is our cryo preservation because every time cells need to be stored at mm, for a uh, uh, store under the cryo condi- cryo uh, condition this is uh, uh, this normal uh, medium uh, the normal uh, procedure but uh, because the cells are frozen and it can be stored for long time this cryo preservation is helpful for the long time storage of cells under minus 80 degree celsius first uh, we need to uh, s- collect the cells say, from the medium then uh, this the this is the medium having the uh, the cells having the medium so we want to remove the medium and wash with the bbs uh there is cells are accumulated so we will need to add a trypsin to acc- uh, that uh, fragmentation and uh, dilate the me- uh, the the cells are concentrated more it's because because of bbs added so we need to add a medium for the dilution after that medium addition we need to uh uh centrifuge centrifuge for 5 minutes and remove the medium so that our cell pellet in that cell pellet we need to add the 1 or 2 ml of dmso dimethyl sulfoxide uh, here the dimethyl sulfoxide uh, it's uh, uh, containing cells are transferred into cryo vials this cryo vials are stored at minus 80 degree celsius the purpose of dmso it's uh, uh it is uh, solid it's look semi solid one uh, here its density of the uh, density of uh, our dms was high so uh, the cells are separately present on the medium and this cells uh, the dms o take some time gradual uh, it's help for the gradual temperature uh, uptake of cell okay because uh, if the cells are directly taken a minus 80 degree that will dis- denature uh, to avoiding that in, uh, the immediate heat, uh, temperature change and uh, the cell death we are uh, adding the dmso for the gradual temperature improvement in the uh, cryo preservation uh, after this 80 degree celsius there is in a froze con- frozen condition so for this because liquid nitrogen is a uh, it's a deep minus to 240 i think 120 uh, the deep uh, b- below the minus 80 uh, that liquid nitrogen it's uh, maintain the this culture at my uh, the cool frozen condition uh, this is a basic techniques about our uh, uh cryo cul- cultivation method in the first is the organ culture if you want to develop we want to develop the organ uh, organ means that uh, we we have a setup like uh, the store that stand that tissues at uh, gas liquid interface because organs needs gas for their survival the histological structure that need a scaffold that need a out layer okay if we want a hot means hot shape uh, hot shape uh, material want to be there cells are loaded on the me- the hot shape me- the outline then that um, develop in the uh, this organ culture then uh, explant culture it's a separated one it's a plate top top view of plate we can collect the individual cells and place the me- place it in a medium that are developed like this here this mold it's a developed organ then dissociated cells means it's a single cell it's a disaggregation tissues uh, tissues are developed cells fo- form a monolayer at the solid liquid interface here the monolayer means individual cells the organotypic culture this uh, different cells co cultured with the without the with or without the matrix matrix means it's a orange this is a uniformed culturing it's a defined culture okay for cell culturing we need 
specific me, medium composition what are the medium composition we required means that it's very important thing this culture medium is having the um, you know acid glucose salt vitamins and other nutrition other nutrition means that is a uh, so ph maintaining for their indicator cell uh, cell life ph of medium indi medium indicator p ph of the medium is indicated by the phenol red like that we need to add some culture that's um, some med some chemicals or it, it, it may be available as a powder or it may be available as a liquid in this uh, uh, medium we have the complete growth medium it's complete growth medium means that medium there is no need no need is need of addition any uh, chemicals that the meat the ready-made medium itself having all the things like that our complete growth medium is for example for the complete growth medium is a eagle basal medium that is a bme medium dalbaco modified eagle medium these two are the most widely using use uh, um, using uh, medium in the laboratory scale here uh, the uh, in that uh, um, main thing is in the uh, complete growth medium or is animal cell culture in carbohydrates the carbohydrates are uh, they needed for the cell surveillance that is to supplied as a glucose this pH maintaining uh, by the uh, CO2 sodium bicarbonate uh, sodium bicarbonate uh, or phosphate or herbs and herbs it's a most common thing is these three these uh, things are helps to uh, maintain the pH because that medium the if the uh, in the animal cell culture laboratory that is the important that is a very important thing it's a CO2 inhibitor it helps to maintain the uh, um, cell the helps to maintain the pH of the medium because that atmospheric uh, CO2 level it's maintained the pH and sodium bicarbonate and cells needs uh, uh, the CO2 for their surveillance and herbs mediums are most commonly used because with this herbs medium having the uh, their uh, pH indicating um, compound and also it's helpful for their survival okay the the may the here uh, so eagle medium they are, it's a, it has a salt solution that is no amino acids in that they and uh, pyro it's uh, non essential amino acids that are there and uh, sodium pyruvate is added in the bme uh, em e bme medium that is basal eagle medium uh, it, it's formulated with the reduced sodium bicarbonate concentration 1500 mg per ml it meets the 5 percentage co2 level so the incubator want to maintain at a 5 percentage co2 level this is the basic thing about the complete growth medium in this uh, we having two type of cell culture mediums one is uh, natural medium and also artificial medium in the natural medium is a biological fluids this biological fluids having example called uh, plasma serum lymph human placental cord serum umbilic amniotic fluid this uh, biological fluids are taken from animal or it's in some laboratory scale they are doing they they they, they would they would they would, they would like to maintain the uh, natural conditions so they are taken this collecting this collecting this material in many hospital laboratories because uh, they need a mm, they need a specific because the artificial mediums are fully chemical chemicals they are taken from the animals they are taken from the humans also this tissue extracts that the extracts of livers spleen tumors during the operation time they are collecting this all from the uh, the human source then chicken embryo bovine embryo 
these are all the these are all collected from the various resources. Clots, the coagulants and plasma clots are also natural media. And uh, the artificial medium is a balanced salt med solution. The balanced salt solution is a uh, eagle basal medium and Hanks basal medium. And basal medium, it's a very important thing. B M E M medium, D M E D M E M medium. Uh, these two M E M and D M E M. These both are uh, basal medium. Uh, complex medium it's the rpm rpmi and gm d im dm medium here uh, the application specific app they mention the specific application of the medium uh, what is because uh, for for uh, for our experiment we need we can change the medium uh, im dm and self and for the bone bone tissues bone marrow tissues hematopoietic uh, progenitor cells, human lymphoplastic leukemia cells. If you are doing research on these cells, we need to add the BMD, uh, sorry, IMDM medium. This IMDM medium is helpful for the this application. The bone marrow, hematopoietic, human lymphoblastoids, leukemia cells, and MEM medium helpful for the chick embryoplast. CH4 cells, embryonic nerve cells, alve uh, alveolar type epithelium, epitomis, fibroblast, glia, glioma, human tumor, melanoma. This kind of here, if you are working with the human tumor cells in a laboratory, we need to add MEM medium. These are only some uh, upcell lines which uh, utilizing the MEM medium. The DMME DMEM medium it's helpful for the uh, mes mesenchymal stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, and me uh, chondrocytes, fib chondrocytes, fibroblast, endothelium, fetal alveolar epithelial type 2 cells. This uh, some uh, examples that ovarian carcinoma cells are needed DMEM medium skeletal skeleton muscle cells cidian hamster fibro fibroblast they are needing the need, needed the uh, this uh, B, GMEM medium then RPMA medium T cells uh, thymocytes these are all the blood cells are can grow in the RPMA medium the mouse hybridoma cell hybridoma happens uh, if you are doing hybridoma, hybridoma uh, cell, if you are using the hybridoma cells, we can use the RPMI media. Uh, this is a table, please refer it later. And nutrient mix F10 or F12 medium. It is helpful for the adipose tissues, embryonic lung cells, skeletal, skeletal muscle cells, embryonic pigment retina and bone cells. These are the applique that. Uh, uh, they are uh, cell line, the favor favorable medium for the specific cell lines and here uh, some direct application that uh, the cell lines are here uh, previously we mentioned we are cell medium what is the cell culture medium this in this we are going to discuss so what is about the cell lines it's a this uh, here I mentioned the most widely using uh, cell lines so, it's a HeLa cell line is uh, uh, most widely usable cell line in the laboratory scale. It's an epithelial cell. They are in the CSIR exam point of view. They are asking this kind of question cell lines and the they are a morphological uh, group and application. The HeLa cells it's an epithelial cell. It's helpful. Uh, this uh, uh, HeLa cells are isolated from the HeLa B is isolated from human then this is uh, helpful for uh, you helpful for the uh, virus study and uh, tumor uh, tu tumorogenic uh, uh, genicity activity and hl6g it's a lymphoblast cells from human uh, it can it can global in rpmi medium differentiation study means me that uh, the differentiation study means that is a developmental study and the organs 
3 T3 clone and A31. This are all the fibroblast. This fibroblast is isolated from the mouse. Uh, it's also helpful for the virus, virus study and the tumorogenicity. Cas7 uh, fibroblast cells developed from derived from monkey. Gene expression and viral replication studies are uh, happen with this. CHO cells, it is epithelial cells, which is isolated from the hamsters. Uh, the source also very important species okay and uh, it's uh, uh, it's helpful for the nutritional and gene expression uh, studies and uh, hek 293 it's a epithelial cell it's a, it's derived from human and uh, it does help for the transformation study it's uh, huveg this is a epithelial endothelial cell this is an endothelial cell it's a derived from human helpful for the angiogenesis study uh, Jarkot, it's uh, isolated from the it's uh, human. It's a uh, lymphocyte lymphoblast cell. It's uh, helpful for the signal study. Okay, uh, why we are doing the trans uh, that uh, cell culturing? Cell culturing, we need to develop the uh, cell application for application. Likewise, we are doing the transgenic animal production and transgenic plant production. In this way, in the transgenic animals are most widely uh, are used in the model, in the animal model. Okay, this uh, uh, likewise the animal model is deduct the, uh, to deduct the gene expression we need to inject some gene and uh, it's uh, whether we want to check whether it is expressed or not use uh, in the knockout technology detect the gene function this is very important the uh, transgenic animals uh, it's a uh, transferred animals is helpful for detecting uh, this knockout technology is like the gene function here are the applications of uh, uh, the transgenic animals some cows are transgenic, uh, 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 kettles are transgenic kettles, that's helpful for the, uh, the transgenic cow, it's produced a protein lactoferrin and inter interferon to their, in their milk, it's helpful for the, our, hel uh, our help, health, it's a very important thing in the latest technology, in, uh, in a transgenic animal, uh, we they are producing the specific compound. This compound helpful for the uh, uh, for the uh, product value added products. The the prion free cow resistance to mad cow disease. Okay, some disease uh, some uh, uh, disease uh, uh, they are deeply affect the animal. So the transgenic animal is developed to resist the disease and this transgenic chip the chips uh, seeps are uh, the chips uh, helps for producing the wool production okay wool production is the, the development of the uh, wool okay and transgenic cords uh, the cords are expressed in the uh, could express the tissue plasminogen activator anti thrombin to spider uh, silk etc in a, in a like like compo extra compounds they are they are specifically induce one in protein in the uh, that particular animal body likewise in a transgenic plant uh, if the animal the if plant getting uh, three month period to uh, four month period to grow or five month period to grow means we are they are transgenic uh, they are doing transgenic genesis process the gene from uh, the plant which grown in a two month or three month so the the specific gene for the growth they are to collect the specific gene for the fast growth and uh, transfer to the uh, the slow growing plant so that was the genetic modification happen in a trans in a plant that plant after that transgenic plant it's given the product and it's grown in a 
three to one, two to three months. Likewise, the same applications in the agriculture also. Some vitamin A, uh, the some golden rice. It's a very, it's a very wide example. Uh, it's a transgenic animal which having the particular vitamin high, vitamin rich uh, um, rice. Okay, and then. Uh, like uh, is the like this we are having many products food products in a, in a market uh, this is the experimental models this is a widely the first they are using the this alzheimer mouse in the brain of alzheimer patients dead neuron cells are in, in, entangled in a protein called amploid okay the amploid is uh, uh, the it's uh, then then amyloids are uh, amyloids or amyloid tangled the by the nerve cells that no dead nerve cells the mouse made by introducing the amyloid precursor gene to fertilize egg in of mice so that fertilized egg it's uh, uh, producing the amyloids that amyloid it's a, they need a precursor right so precursor means it's a addition or uh, that inducer in this uh, in this way then the ultimate alzheimer disease we need to uh, uh, for many patients are uh, affected by the alzheimer disease in this case we if you are using the uh, if you are using the uh, this uh, method called a uh, gene the gene uh, gene transfer method and transgenic animals we can uh, uh, we can add the we can develop the uh, particular function of gene in this case we need to develop a uh, new cells the dead cells are uh, it's there is dead cells we need to develop the regenerate the cells and need, they need a uh, amyloid and anko mouse in the mouse model to study the cancer it made interesting activity activate poison in this case we are having the uh, many uh, anti-cancer research in the laboratory to testing and uh, we need to confirm our drug mean, drug in for uh, uh, the treatment we first we need to uh, check it on the mouse so for that we need to develop a cancer on the uh, the mice that called as the anko mouse that anko mouse having the cancer with the uh, they are so they can survive with the cancer after the treatment we can uh, uh, cure cure the that uh, effect then smart mouse in that smart mode it's uh, expressed uh, uh, it's, it's a biological model engineered like over express nr2 b receptor in a syn uh, synaptic pathway this makes mice learn faster like uh, uh, juvenilis throughout their life so it's a faster a fast studying fast uh, make a the mice learn faster so the fast pickup they are doing this they are developed for educational purpose for uh, their um, understanding purpose they are adding this receptor as nr2b receptors in the sympathetic pathway over expression then it's uh, having other importance in uh, various field the medical importance having this is the disease model they like anko anko mouse then bioreactors for bioreactors means it's a uh, medium in that animal we can add one gene and produce the uh, product that's a bioreactor for pharmaceuticals that is the monoclonal antibody production uh, the in that monoclonal antibody person we need to enter the uh, vaccines enter the animals the uh, the viral or uh, viral particle and they develop their immunity that uh, the collected sample is called as the or uh, uh, that antibody products and uh, xenotransplantation 
this is organ organ development based one agricultural the disease resistant animals the cow the uh, the kettle that the kettle having some resistance for the disease and it's a produ- the quality of milk meat that uh, chickens chickens are transgenic chickens the available broilers are transgenic broilers that meat level the milk milk meat egg the wool production the wool production is a wide application in the north the north countries because in a himalaya in the that area they are uh, uh, they are having that uh, nepal some areas the tri- tribal areas in uh, uh, nearby himalayas hills they are develop they are having the um, uh, they are uh, develop the coats with this uh, transgen they are using this transgenic coats and industrial importance it is toxicity sensitive transgenic animal to test chemicals okay if uh, if for food industry or uh, any any chemical based industry if you are taken if the human taken uh, food um, that particular chemical it's affect or not that kind of way they are using the this uh, a transgenic animals and very uh, next uh, important thing of any that transgenic animal is a method how they are transferred uh, that is two methods are there one is embryonic stem cell method another is a micro injection method this embryonic stem cell method the transgenic man- it's a uh, is manipulated at the embryonic stem cell okay manipulating the embryonic stem cell that's a its earlier stage manipulation in this two has uh, happened with the micro injection retrovirus injection and electroporation these are the t- three methods in the uh, embryonic stem cell method in this um, in, the, in this micro uh, the micro injection we are having the uh, first uh, we need to select the uh, female is uh, super ovulated uh, ovulated animal and collect the eggs from the female uh, eggs are fertilized in the in vitro in vitro means it's fertilized in the laboratory condition the eggs are not in a ovary the eggs are in a laboratory condition then transgene containing solution is injected into the male pro nucleus using the micro pipette this eggs with transgene is kept overnight for the incubation at the two two stage stage after that eggs are then implanted into the uterus uh, for the pseudo pregnant female that pseudo pregnant female means the female which has was has the mate with the was vestments male and previ- previous night that is the uh, their uh, their uterus as accepting the that case only the uterus accept the uh, that uh, injected the micro injected uh, cells another case uh, is a uh, retrovirus uh, uh, injection here which the gene method is retro other uh, i hear the they are mentioned with adeno virus vector likewise you would need to uh, explain the retrovirus this retrovirus we are having the likewise uh, in this retrovirus method carries the uh, the cells and transfer into the uh, uterus electroporation their cell surface uh, make a some uh pores on cell surface they are transferring this is the direct injection method uh, and they are having the uh, mediators this is the methods there is embryonic stem cell select the cells desired gene we need to select the gene cell for desired character you may see in uh, so in uh, some movies they are ca- one on um, Uh, one person having the all characters of uh, one particular per, uh, the all characters uh, that like such in uh, the uh, top top most uh, the famous persons gene uh, with uh, injected with one uh, um, 
it's it's a, i think it's a surya movie i don't know the exact name so in that movie they explain the specific gene transfer maker gets give us it's give a uh, extraordinary talent that for extraordinary talent or drawing gene one gene is responsible for drawing or one gene may be responsible for the fast running so uh, this are all the uh, for example they are i mentioning that the way they are t- selecting the embryonic cell and uh, select the one desired gene injected into the uh, inner uh, cell mass that is blastocyte and then produce the uh, implant that they in that uh, is this uh, blastocyte is injected in the uterus of this animal and second nucleus means uh, that fertilized egg with the desired gene it's a vector uh, we need to add a gene specific gene that is implanted into the uterus of uh, the animal it is the offspring offspring in the it's of presence of the gene means next next uh, generation that offspring then male heterogeneous offspring to produce homologous transgenic strain the homologous transgenic animal need to produce these are all the method for the production of transgenic mice here uh, the all this in this till this we are discuss uh, the what are the application of the, the methods in the gene transfer now after this genomic studies okay this gene transfer animal cell culture uh, the characters apart from this we having the some applications genetic applications what are all the applications in the means uh, it can this genomic study the genomic change it's helpful for the like life to live stocks right uh, the bios diversity conversation conversions conversations uh, i i'm told the gene the gene transfer it's helpful for the uh, the live stocks likewise the here the animal selection and animal in the crop in the crops health uh, and human plant genetic resource the mutation breeding for crop implant improvement food and animal these are the application in the uh, new uh, genomic applications in the agriculture it play a major role it because uh, me we are uh, uh, some in uh, in our uh, research la uh, research uh, stage in uh, in the uh, countries are allowing many clinic uh, application in a uh, agriculture uh, because uh, that is the most important thing and they need a uh, improvement in the uh, nutritional quality so that is a very important thing last 50 years uh, the world uh, the product is uh, um, their production is high in the past 50 year they analyzed the application and uh, some other application i mean included here uh, in this uh, uh, way the pro- the molecular medicines are their molecular medicines means that is uh, uh, nowadays the vaccines are developed uh, de- uh, developing in uh, Uh, many countries that that not able to we can develop in the, it's with the normal condition so molecular medicines are developed using the the vaccines are developed monoclonal antibodies are developed from the animals transgenic animals then microbial genomics that changed for the studies risk assessment dna identification agriculture increase rate of genomic improvement gen- genetic improvement detect the abnormality everything is a genomic study application then in this genomic study application the the treatment based application is a gene therapy in this therapeutic transgene is injected into the cell that tra- uh, that uh, transgene is uh, collaborated with the nucleus and that make a therapeutic protein production this is a sequential process this transgenic that the therapeutic transgenic is added to this nucleus this added this collaboration make uh, this uh, reaction that after this incorporation they are producing the therapeutic uh, protein through the target cell and this is a retrovirus method in genetic that uh, gene therapy 
uh, here you can see uh, the virus uh, virus having the uh, pentons capsids and viral proteins there is a uh, virus having the uh, pentons capsids and viral proteins this viral proteins uh, the adenovirus is attached on the uh, cell surface using this pentons that pentons are in uh, at engulf the virus package the in vessel this is, is vessels uh, the, this like a mac it's make a vacuole it's like a one drown then it's virus enter increase the acidity the cells has a cause release of pentons so due to this uh, the cell of in the acidity the cell surface pentons are removed in the vessels then penton uh, pen, uh, pentons uh, toxicity branches vessels so there is the uh, that blasting happen then it's enter into the nucleus at the in the enter into the nucleus here you can see the virus is uh, uh, disassembled to deliver the tna the nuclear pores the virus attached on the nuclear pores and release the viral dna on the in the cell surface in the into the nucleus in that uh, the nucleus the, that new dna is incorporated or viral viral mrna sorry viral mrna that is specific protein the specific carries the specific gene this virus adenovirus carry the uh, the specific gene the new gene here you can see the see the new gene this new gene is getting uh, gene uh, that is producing the particular protein in this so we have two methods one is the gene augmentation method and another is the gene incubation inhibition method in gene augmentation cells with non function gene there is no non functioning gene we are adding the functional gene cell functioning normally it says that it's affected one we are adding the functional gene they are looks like act like normal in this gene incubation therapy cells containing the faculty gene we need to block with another gene after this blocking the cell fun the uh, due to this function only they are in inactivated mode so adding this gene <coughs> we can functionally activate the one gene it's a two type method this is a method here it's having two types of gene therapy one is stem cell somatic cell gene therapy and a germline gene therapy in a somatic cell gene therapy introduction of gene into bone marrow cells or blood cells skin cells will not uh, they inherit it later generation okay once in it's in a one particular generation in a uh, uh, gene therapy in the germline therapy the gene introduced in egg or sperm so very important thing the somatic cell gene therapy we can insert the gene in bone marrow cells blood or skin cells but in germline gene therapy we need to introduce we can introduce the gene into only egg or sperm here they are they are the the inheritable and uh, it's passed on the later generation Uh, it's for safety and ethical technical reasons it will not being attempt at present but the the cell lines cells that is some somatic uh, cell gene therapy at present all researchers are directed and find defect in the somatic cells it's helpful for the organ development that kind of process and then uh, its applications in this till now we are discussed and finished the applications in the, the animal cell culture animal transgenic animals all over things now we are entering into the bioremediation section in the bioremediation we are having different method one is the inorganic method inorganic method is helpful for the heavy metals degradation radio nucleate nucleotides degradation this heavy metals and radio nucleotides are absorbed through the cell surface that uh, that plant leaf surface that is the accumulation at accumulation it's happen over the leaf then uh, volatilization volatilization 
uh, transpiration and then uh, that is mercury it is helpful for the mercury uh, selenium degradation then there uh, is so pyreic metabolism it is helpful to degrade the metal organic radius that the radionuclides and this ha having two method one is the x tissue and then one is the in tissue x tissue we having the two four methods biopiles windrow bioreactor land forming and x tissue we having two method natural attenuation and enhanced method in enhanced method we having biosulfuring bioventing bio sparing sparking bioremediation and in apart from this two we are having the permeable reactive barriers in this uh, 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 in this bioremediation in the short form of in tissue it is a without excavation we they are put they are degrade the particular metals ions everything in x tissue they are with the excavation they are degrading the everything in only x tissue process allows the effective optimization of the incubation parameters that is the biosimulations it is a pH, uh, aeration, aeration uh, agitation, moistening, nutrients, uh, solvent and surfactants. In additional to uh, the specific uh, the first to improve the degradation we are adding the bio augmentation if we are using the microbe in a bio remediation they are called as the bio augmentation if you are if they are using the chemicals the parameters called in this incubation parameters means that called the bio stimulation in the next tissue the bio venturing the bio venturing it's a one uh, it's a uh, helpful for the soil it's a soil it's a it's a used on the soil it supply air and nutrition via this cut is the indigenous microorganism in a in tissue biodegradation is helpful for the aqueous solution it's calculating the aqueous solution uh, ground water and the soil it's helpful for biosparking is injection of air below the water table the water uh, it's increase the ground water oxygen concentration biosparking it's helpful for increase the ground water oxygen concentration and mix the saturated uh, is mixing in a saturated zone the bio augmentation it's helpful for the uh, it's addition of indigenous and exogenous uh, microorganism it's uh, it's competition and is unnecessary one it's a bio augmentation is an important one uh, these are all the, the methods the the exa the the or the hint hint about the methods in the uh, in the bio remediation we are specifically having the bio uh, phyto remediation uh, the in it, we, the till now we are discussed the bioremediation now we are going to discuss the phytoremediation in phytoremediation uh, the extract that uh, the phyto extraction okay it's uptake and translocation of metal from soil uh, top and to the top tissue of the plant okay first the uh, they are absorbing the metal from the soil and transfer the uh, that metals to uh, their leaves so once after the particular period if you are taken that leaf extract that leaf extract having the metals that is called the phyto, phyto extraction then phyto stabilize stabilization means the reduction of mobility it's a, and re, restriction of metals in a root tissue it precipitate in a root zone they are capture the ion, metal ions near by the root zone that is a biostabilization that is root not allowing the metals to move then riso filtration it is removed by the absorb, adsorption adsorption and precipitation on the surface or radical absorption on the root only and then bio well, bio volatilization its option and release of release to the atmosphere of volatile material that called as the 
that HG and A is that selenium that are uh, that compounds uh, in the environment they having uh, so they are plants are absorbing and remove, release the atmospheric volatile material then uh, bio transformation it's decomposed of contaminant by metabolism and plant enzymes that during the process using the material in the plant they are degrade the, the contaminant that is uh, waste material this is another short form i am um, explained in a previous slide here i am i uh, one thing is i am uh, not mentioned two things biodegradation in the phytodegradation the plants are take up and break down the contaminate within a plant tissue and uh, with through the internal enzymes that is called as the phytodegradation in the phytohydraulics in the hydraulic the ability of plant to take up and transpirate water this to is uh, contaminated by the the lick hydrology they are uh, using this phyto uh, hydraulics is a uh, one important thing this is the ability of plant to uptake and transfer the water this is all the bhakti that uh, by phyto remediation uh, this also i am i am included two or three its removal of excess salt from saline water by halophytes the important thing here is halophytes how it uh, remove means halophytes hmm the uh, the previous uh, about all things are repeated here some mechanisms are uh, uh, used in the uh, here i mentioned the table it's a phyto phy where the, the process happen which plants are doing this phyto extraction for the riso filtration that's uh, that things are i'm included in this table please refer in this table for their uh, uh, their understanding here the phyto extraction the hyper accumulate harvestable part of plant hyper accumulation in the harvestable part of the plant the riso filtration the riso accumulation through the sorption concentration and precipitation then bio volatilization it's uh, it's a volatilization volatilization used by the leaf through the transpiration this biodegradation is pollutant er eradication and bio establishment then uh, the the final uh, important concept in the or uh, uh, this applied uh, biology is a uh, biosensor this in this biosensor bios bio medical samples food samples uh, its application this is analytics that uh, and chemical pollutants they uh, they are uh, added over through the it may be that sensor the bioreceptors that is may be the nucleated that may be the antibody that may be the virus that may be the enzyme they are if the binding happens means that are uh, tra transfer through the l or piezo electric or optical that data are received to the data processing machine here uh, the example a sample is here the sample having the uh, the target analyte and another other analyte target analyte that is the normal the bioreceptor is a specific one and, and the um, enzyme the enzyme antibody cells are added over the this medium that make a interaction if the interaction happen the physio using this physiochemical heat that may be the heat mass exchange or light or ph change these are all the indicators if there is addition happens that is this outputs are out uh, they are getting this output using this output they develop the data analysis uh, the here they have provided the example for the sample which kind of samples can be sensible by the biosensors human samples called blood urine uh, and the food samples food safety industries and uh, food safety department environmental and agricultural samples and water and soil 
count the microbes present over there are the things and biological element which used on the biosensor enzyme antibody the aptamers it's a specific uh, uh, portion of the particular uh, uh, that proteins then dna's and transducer which can transfer the signal that may be the electrochemical that may be the optical calorimetric mass and magnetic the signals are amplified and signal processing we are doing in the signal processing application nanoparticle in a pesticides uh, there's a agricultural application in a food industry uh, the packaging the prevent and response that packaging uh, safety that uh, then uh, no geo bioinformatics uh, because based on the locations uh, that uh, detect the that uh, the plant where where are the plants where the plants are available that things sensing detect the chemicals in the food and uh, food born pathogenesis it's helpful for the food born pathogenesis so we can use it as a set in a food safety industry uh, in in biosensor uh, in agriculture that is very interesting the pesticides in the crops we can detect through the biosensor pH of the soil, crop deterioration test, crop detectors, gas detectors, and environmental pollutants level. These are all some applications in the agricultural level. Uh, the till uh, this applications in a, uh, it's a schematic representation. It's a deposition of uh, over there. The receptor materials are the antibody. Here they added the receptors. That receptors are over the cell surface, and uh, the that environmental uh, food and environmental soil samples are added over there. The change. So here the current wires are there, right? That current wires are alone added to the receptors material. So. Addition of this extra compound over the this chip that make uh, some some change in a current, change in a voltage, change in a impedance and change in a mass. There is a weight is a higher weight also there. So that make a sense. The this all the sense are recovered that are received by the that processor. That processor producing the uh, signal to the biosensor device. Uh, till now I am discussed the overall uh, the unit uh, 12 uh, if you have any queries please ask it uh, actually some um, some more topics are uh, uh, previously previous classes uh, previous units we missed some important topics uh, that topics uh, I will cover in a, uh, I will send a video in uh, YouTube uh, actually tomorrow morning I will I am having because uh, 28 to 28 we are having we planned for the this, uh, this uh, CSA online training uh, today is the 30th day we are finished uh, the 12 units revision uh, that sorry 13 units revision in a three session part uh, in this three session uh, we are not uh, we have some uh, important topics we missed uh, some time for their uh, uh, for the over glands we missed some important topics that missed topics will be uh, discussed in tomorrow on the, uh, the uh, day after tomorrow we will discuss because that is the, uh, the concept the fulfillness is uh, comes after the uh, the finishing so only I'm uh, take uh, much time for that remaining sessions uh, so, uh, there are some uh, in plant tissue culture also we having some hormones animals say animal tissue culture also we having some hormones that kind of important things the overall glands that uh, for tomorrow we'll, I am going to cover the unit 1 to 6 I am explaining the day after tomorrow I pass uh, day after tomorrow I will discuss the the unit 7 to 13 uh, PBS what is PBS means that is phosphate buffer saline uh, which uh, uh, having the 
the specific pH and uh, it is remove all the uh, extra content over the cells. So, after the washing with the uh, PBS, the cells uh, surface uh, do not have any medium, cell culture medium, any depressors. There is no depressors over the phosphate buffer saline. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. I am going to end this today's session. Um, if you have any queries, please post it in the chat box. Tomorrow uh, we having a class, with, but it's not it's not specific unit. We are going to cover some important topics, though which we missed, which we less discussed in uh, uh, previous days.